Okay guys, so it's time to make the last part. It's going to be part 13. Yes, or is it going to be part... Hmm, good, good question there. Is it part 13 or is it part 12? 12, 12. Oops, I have two part 11 videos. Oh, uh, I need to edit that. I can't have two part 11 videos. That would be kind of awkward. Uh, but uh, no, I, I, I can't have two part 12, 11 videos. So that would be kind of awkward. You know, I kind of that. You know, it's, yeah. Okay, so I think I. Uh, okay, 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 we're finished. So part 13 is going to be the last video about this WWDC first keynote event. And uh, basically, I was talking about iCloud in the, the, the parts. And uh, basically, as I said, 5 GB is going to be free uh, for mail, documents, and backup. Uh, this is not for music. I'm going to get to music pretty soon. Uh, but uh, basically, iCloud is going to ship with iOS 5 this fall. And also, uh, one very important thing here is the photo stream doesn't count in uh, this 5 gigabyte uh, because I mean, photo stream uh, they only have like uh, or they have your 1,000 latest pictures, and uh, then we have uh, some cool stuff. Here, like uh, as I already said, 15 million songs uh, from iTunes Store. That's how much people have like purchased and downloaded the songs there, so that's kind of crazy. Uh, but you can sync your devices over Wi Fi or cable. So if you love cable, you could use the cable, so you know, don't panic. Don't panic if you don't have a cable or if you. Um, or if you have a cable but you don't have a Wi-Fi connection so yeah and then we have something new called I think everything is new is iTunes Match and the iTunes Match is going to work with all of the 18 million songs that's now available in the iTunes Music Store uh, based with iTunes Matches it's going to uh, is a software that is going to scan your tunes and match it up uh, with the songs that's already available in the store uh, so your music is um, going to be upgraded uh, to have better quality if it's already available in the store because they got like high quality music there so you know it's good to use that and uh, this is going to take minutes not like weeks for like Amazon and uh, uh, Google Music uh, so if you upload your entire library uh, that, uh, that could obviously take weeks but uh, if you just upload a couple of songs yeah we'll be able to uh, compete with Amazon and Google and just a couple of minutes and remember it's not like no upload it's just scan and this will be able to match your library uh, it will scan your songs and find if you have any songs that uh, they own and uh, this is uh, you know if you, if you don't match anything uh, or anything that's matched it's going to be upgraded to uh, the AAC 256k kilo kilobytes Per second AC no DR, DRM uh, quality and I just match something that's going to cost $24.99 so yeah uh, still kind of cheap if we compare it to the other services from Amazon Google Google we have no idea yet right now it's free but it's only in beta for, and you can upload 20,000 songs uh, but Amazon their service costs 50 bucks and they only have a uh, Mac and PC they have web uh, web service uh, that the music app uh, but uh, Apple they have iTunes and that could be better and then also uh, Apple have better quality that you can upgrade it, it to 256 kbps in better quality and the price Apple is uh, Apple is you know not expensive here they're cheaper uh, 24.99 and it's interesting to see what Google is going to cost and that uh, scan and match take minutes and that uh, upload obviously takes weeks so yeah they are kind of clever there that you don't have to upload it so very 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 clever so interesting also they showed off some pictures on their new third data center so as you see they're really serious about this i mean they got some crazy servers some six of us this is the server that is uh, you know taking care of all of your data so very very good there and then he ended the WWDC conference or you know, not the conference but the keynote so yeah that's the first uh, keynote I made videos about uh, iOS 5 I made videos about Mac OS 10.7 Lion and I have also now made videos about iCloud so now you should know at least a little bit more about uh, Apple and 
the meow what they are doing. So that is awesome. See you.